Here he is at last, the renowned and beloved scholar. May the Lord bless you with all his goodness. Oh. Hmm. What is it you are seeking? You must first know what you are seeking. Tell me, who is greater, O oh, venerable scholar? The prophet or the saint Bayezid? What kind of question is that? Of course, our prophet is much greater. Is that so? Then why did Bayezid say that nothing resided in him but God, while the prophet sought forgiveness from God 70 times a day and professed that he did not have true knowledge of him? The messenger of God covers 70 ranks every single day and asks for forgiveness due to the knowledge he achieves at every rank he reaches. But Bayezid becomes excited when he achieves only one rank and therefore becomes preoccupied with that rank. The saint has the false impression that he is at the final rank anyone can achieve, when in fact there is no boundary to the knowledge of God. That is why the prophet is much greater than the saint. My God. What is it you are seeking? You must first know what you are seeking. What's wrong with him? Oh, look at him come. He's trembling. He's upset. Hear me. A man is worthless when he does not ask questions. Why on earth does an unloving heart exist? Even insects will refuse to eat the man who died with no love. The universe was not created from rocks and dirt, but from love. Humans were not created from flesh and blood, but from love. Who owns all these words? Oh, that's Mavlana. Oh! oh, most venerable scholar of Konya, welcome, welcome, welcome! Wait, is he here? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about, sir. I'm looking for a dervish. He wears a black robe, and he is capable of knowing absolutely everything about you with just a single look. I think the man you're looking for is the man from Tabriz. They call him Tabrizi Shems Parende. He's a strange man. Sounds like the man we're looking for. Is he here now? Oh, yes, sir. He's here. He stays in his room all day long. He's always in deep contemplation. Could you point out his room to us, sir? Why, of course, sir. Right over there. He's in that room. I always knew that one day you would succeed in finding me, O Sultan of Hearts, for there are answers you still seek. Shams, I implore you, you must open every secret door to me. You have many questions, but are you strong enough for the answers? My heart is strong enough. But it is your mind that you rely upon so much. I can free myself of my thoughts if I need to. Your love of God has made you almost drunk. I felt dizzy for so many days. Every moment my heart longs for such drunkenness. You must die before death comes for you. I cannot live anymore if I must carry this agony inside of me. But what about your crowds of followers? whom you enlighten like a candle in the dark. If necessary, I would eradicate my existence. But you're a scholar. You own a rank, and you are a man of respect and prestige. <laughs> Though we both know those things don't matter. Then get up and join me. The journey is long, and time is short. <laughs> when one embarks on a journey to an unknown place, it's wise to ask directions of one who has been there before. Hmm. And you shall ask them of me, so that all of my secrets will become known to you. Then let us begin. Many scholars have prospered in Muslim lands in the past. Could you please tell us about their teachings? Enough! What? Don't you dare tell them about what other teachers have said. 
When will you start talking about what you have to say? When will you say, God has whispered to my heart? Talking to us that way. What happened, darling? Why are you shouting? Please tell father. me what happened. Are you all right? What happened, father? It's Shems. Shems is gone. I can't find him anywhere. But where can he be, father? Where on earth do you think Shems may have gone to? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know where he could have gone. Shems had disappeared and left the Sultan of Hearts in loneliness. All doors were closed again. Flowers faded and withered up. Birds ceased their songs and flew away. Days turned into months. Oh, venerable scholar, Shems, at last I found you. My search has finally borne fruit. Who sent you over here? Those people who didn't want me there? A drop which doesn't reach the sea evaporates in the earth and disappears. The moon won't lose anything with dogs howling. The worldly people do not understand the state of saints at all. They are completely unaware of heavenly wisdom. My father's left in darkness because of you, Shems. He wants you to return. We need his light. Don't reject him, please. For you. <sighs> the condition for friendship is to sacrifice oneself for the friend and even die for him. Good news, sir. Shems is coming back. Your son and Shems have just entered the city. Sprinkle water on the streets so that he can feel relieved. Scatter roses over the streets. Spread the news. Let the clouds clear from the moon. Let the daylight disperse the fog. Spread the news. His exuberance fills the universe. Shems has returned. Everything is back to the beginning. The son of our heart, your return is such a blessing to us. Many mysteries that we must answer. There is much that is unknown. I've returned to this place for myself. The wound that's not opened won't recover. My friend, what a burning closeness it is indeed. <laughs>
To live is nothing but to dwell in a desolate desert. What's desolate is the life itself. Where are our fathers and mothers whose loins we are? How close are our children who are a part of us, even our wives with whom we share our lives? True, except for the few hearts which we explain ourselves to and which we are able to understand. To whom does this world belong? To a German? To a Roman? To a Phoenician? Or perhaps a Mongol? What are we expected to do in this mortal world? We have but a little bit of time to understand the truth of existence. That's all. The material world is but the place of questioning, while the truth is the place where we can actually see the beauty. Those who consider the world as the place for buying and selling can't understand this. They can only keep breathing. They do not question. That's true, of course. But to be a friend is to reside in the soul of the other person. This time I will leave here without anybody knowing about it. To be certain, nobody will ever find me again. Shems. Shems! Shems! Shems, where are you? You have left us again. How could this be, my friend? You have left us in loneliness. Shems, please! Shems! True friends never die. They don't die in contempt. The Lord blesses them with his mercy. Lovers do not die like that, Shems.